What's up everybody, I'm Nate Beck and welcome to Joyride. A couple days ago, Ventura Harley-Davidson, I saw they had some live wires in, so I decided to go down, check it out, and they were nice enough to take me on a 20 minute ride to really feel what the live wire is all about. Now I've never ridden an electric motorcycle, nor a live wire, or even seen one in person. The only thing I knew was that it was such a debacle during the rollout that Harley CEO actually lost his job over it. Now my background is in internal combustion, specifically a lot of American V-twins, so it was super interesting to ride a motor that didn't really make any sound other than like a little bit of a whir. Now, for this video, I've actually left out some of the, hey bug, how's it going? I've actually left out some of the music that I typically put in videos because I wanted you guys to hear the sounds the Livewire makes as it's such a big part of the riding experience on the Livewire. And I've also A and B'd a little bit on some turns between the Livewire and my Sportster so you can see some more of the differences. Now keep in mind, this isn't a deep dive into the Livewire. I didn't have that much time on it. This is just some first impressions from me, an internal combustion fan, on the direction of Livewire and Harley. So before we get into that though, please like, please share, and please subscribe. It super helps us moto vloggers keep doing what we're doing and bringing you guys quality content on the bikes that we love riding and the new bikes that are awesome to check out and bring to you guys to stoke you out as well. So without further ado, the Harley Davidson Livewire. How quiet it is. It's the ultimate lazy man's bike. <laughs> Got nothing to do. Dude, I find myself wanting yeah. to clutch it. I come up to a stop and I'm just like, oh, there's nothing there. This hand feels neglected. <laughs> <laughs> right? The weight, the balance on it's real nice though. Really it's really nice. It's not top, like Sportsters are super top heavy. Yeah, it's, it's like not. A, it feels like a Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> And all that heaviness is down at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. It just gives it a real nice, like, settled feeling. Yeah. Yeah, because what's the, I think the range is like what, 136, 140? They say 120. Okay. But my buddy, 
who owns one typically gets about 70. 70? Yeah. yeah. I can't get it home. <laughs> I can't, can't get it, it home. And I think the technology will improve on that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's still so fresh.